M0 FXP, welcome to my unboxing of the Yaesu FTM150 with the ASP module, which is an additional module. You can actually buy it without it. Also, we've got the Bluetooth module, the BU5, which is the same module they're using in the new Yaesu FTX1. And we've also got the SSM BT20 Bluetooth microphone and PTT. I've actually got the older one, the SSM BT10. They both actually do work. I don't use Bluetooth very much, but they do work. So let's just get everything out of the box. They're about £330. You know, what's the reason for this particular radio? I would say they're they're trying to appeal to... So this was made to appeal to people that want their radios a little bit simpler, but like the sort of cross-band repeat and this sort of classic Yesu sort of look with the orange screen. But it does, the screen does go sort of like a white with blue writing. Um, so right, let's get everything out of the box here and, and uh, take a look. What we'll do, we'll get it on the table. You've got the main unit of the radio, which does come attached. If you look here, it does come attached to the the rear unit, you've got your power supply, your, your microphone, is it SSM, is it 75? So DTMF microphone, and it's got that slidey sort of mounting bracket that we all, I think we all like that bracket. Yeah, nice, nice quality mic that, isn't it? Uh, good quality power lead, fused power lead, 50 amp. I use a 30 amp power supply, probably 20 amp would do it. And this radio does have the ability to add an SD card, which I think is good. Very easy to do firmware updates. I've already made some videos updating to the latest firmware. And it's, you know, the head unit's very similar to the FT500 510, but of course it's not the 510. And there's your little latchy thing just here that you just push down, it slides back and forth. Really quick release, it's excellent, I really like it. You know, the independent volume squelch channel change. Uh, not touchscreen, but you do have PMG mode as well and a band scope. And a manual. I do read the manuals. This one isn't too thick, actually. Um, but I tend to just use the radio for a while and then go back to the manual for the bits that I'm struggling with. You'll see here the sticker ASP, and that does actually work well. It's quite, it's like the HF uh, type filtering you know it's got that like watery sound on the back you've got the extension speaker a and then you've got the data so239 and a fan there as well and then we've connected our is it two yeah two pin power lead there vhf uhf antenna in the loft looking very nice so it's a 50 watt transceiver i think it might even be 55 on vhf SDX button there and you've now got with the new firmware which I might have to re-add uh, You've now got the auto ASP and auto SDX um, SD card goes in there and to remove the radio just all the head when I say radio I meant the display unit and There's your buttons there band your scope PMG VFO memory function buttons and uh, you can create shortcuts on off there. Nice, good quality, very, I saw a message the other day about the buttons being loose, but I'm like, no, not, that's not the experience I'm getting. I'm, the experience I'm getting is that these buttons are really solid. So um, I'll just have a look behind here, just so you can see what's here. Trying to get some light on this. And it's labelled mic, so you can put the mic in there, or you can put the mic in here, okay, which is what we're probably going to do. And it's a smaller six pin mic, which means my little Bluetooth one that I've got is going to work. I'll show you that, I mean, they work with all Yesu radios. And I'll, I'll do a separate video, but it's this little thing, but it comes with a little module that actually plugs into where the microphone goes and enables Bluetooth, and that actually works really well. Um, and I've tested the audio, you cannot tell the difference between the Yesu mic and, uh, and that. So, let's fire this thing up. Um, first time ever on this one. So straight away, turn it down. 
backlit keys. Nice bright LED, and we'll take this off, which we always keep. And it's quite hard to film this bright orange, but we're gonna put that somewhere where we don't lose it. Try and get some dimming. Lovely, be literally beautiful. Hold it down. And there's our menu there. We'll go back with the, where's the back button on this? Marked on the, with the F button, back. And let's put it, I'm just gonna type a frequency on my microphone. Let's see if we get my node. So that should come through now. And on the B section, so you've got the A section, which is bigger. If you press the B, it gets bigger. And we're gonna put an air band. And you what, it will come through. I've tested this already and it works really well, surprisingly well. And like someone is there. Nice G7 RPG. PZ45 Yankee Delta, runway 09, surface wind 130 degrees 10 knots, clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff, runway 09, forward by Yankee Delta. How good that sounds, and it looks great. Now, if we hold down the F and go down to not the band, the backlight colour. Just turn. There you are. Why? I think they should add some more colours myself. Anyway, back. All of these can be added as shortcuts. All of these. Let's just go back. You've got your sort of short menu here. Look, see. Wow, that does sound so good. You've got a speaker in the head unit and the bass unit. And it gives it that. Oh, it just sounds excellent, honestly. I mean, I... you're not here to see it. Ryanair, Dublin. So let's turn that down a minute. Uh, actually, we'll tune it to my repeater. So you can press. Well, first of all, you turn. So if we go to 600... And then press and hold. You can get larger increments. Six hundred should get GB3WR now when it's active. Squelch, press, and there's your squelch, press. It's already got a, the minor shift in, which means it's got um, automatic repeater shift. Keep that quiet in the background, but that's Hubnet, my favourite place to be. Hold down F. And I'm just going to remember how you can create shortcuts. So let's do, you've got a dimmer there, contrast. Uh, mic gain, timeout. Memory, let's PMG, we'll show you that in a sec. Repeater shift. Clock type. Automatic power off. Front speaker mute, squelch type. Let's go press that and go tone. Okay, tone squelch or tone in code. Squelch means it does it on receive as well. Not sure what that weird noise was. Get the squelch a bit higher. So go to the A band uh, and let's do that tone again. Press, do the, let's see, sorry about this, scrunch tight, get the tone on first, press, tone, press, tone frequency, press, now it allows me, 94. That's good. And then with that shortcut menu, if I want shortcuts on tone, press and hold. Oh, no, I'm not, maybe it's the F. There it is. Move it to where you want it. And you've got this tone is now, if you back out completely, let's go. 
Short press, tones there now. Long press is the entire menu. Let's just go back out first. Though. Back out first, long press. And there you are, the entire menu. If you go right to the bottom, when you start to see factory reset and you've got your SD card, which just slips in there and faces forward. There is single screen, press this, move over here, hold down F, and Bluetooth, we're going to put that module in, I'll do that in a separate video I think, and it's only small, annoyingly I've got to take the screws off, I don't, I hate unscrewing a new radio, um, but oh well, and let's go back, we're looking for a single screen now again you can set that as a shortcut so we'll just look for it time out sub band there it is off is that the right one let's go back a minute yes okay so and then we go to if we switch to the a where we were that's our single screen. B, and if we lower the squelch, and then what we'll do is we'll see if we can find a weak station, and then try the SDX. So there's a weakish station. Can you see how it's? ASP, it does get rid of that sort of sound, see that? And it must have the latest firmware, because look, it's ASP, it's got the automatic setting. So let's do the PMG. We'll hold it down and we'll put that in. There you are. That's put one in there already. It does sound so nice. Volume control. Go back a minute. We'll go to there and then we'll put that in PMG as well. Hold down. We now got two in there. Now, if you want to get rid of one, you just go to the one you want to get rid of, and you hold it down again. And it removes it. Going back there. PMG to come out. Like so let's find. Um, Let's back out, put another one in there. Let's try, let's try GB3WR. That's in there. Let's back out a minute. Let's do 750, that'll be Bravo Charlie. Of course, you you know, to say these in memory properly, you, you want to uh, add all your tones and all that. Just showing the PMG. You've got four in there now, and you can cycle through. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an auto, isn't there? Back out. Hold down band. Now we've got the band scope. And that was on, what was that, four? Let's turn off the X. Can I turn off the STX? Band scope. And if you back out to memory right. Wow. Well, oh yeah, 220 but not transmit. But maybe in the USA, eh? I don't think so though. Okay.
Of course, you've got VFO memory. And then we have used this with RT Systems and Chirp and the original, or have we? We plan to. I think we've only used it with the original. Was that ADMS 19, I believe? Uh, I made a video on that. And then RT Systems and Chirp as soon as they're available. Maybe they already are. So I think that's about it for the unboxing. Of course, you've got programmable buttons here. Lots you can do. And you can change what they do as well. I'm just pressing them. Look, power. Well, that one even did transmit, didn't it? Mute, type in the key. It's in home mode at the moment. Let's get it in VFO. Let's do four, three, four, five, five. Back to Hubnet. And to save a memory channel, you literally just hold down the M. Go to where you want. Right. Go to edit. Give it a name. And you've named it. Back out. Go to memory mode. Number two. That you need to tell it to display the name. I think that's enough. But yeah, very good quality speakers under there. You can just about see it. And uh, we'll get the Bluetooth thing in there and have a little play in the next video. Thanks for watching my unboxing of the FTM 150. I really like it, 7.3.